Hey everybody, how you doing today? John here with Lux. So inside this tube, we have one of our sunroof decals. We have the Scat Pack V1. I'm gonna be installing this on a car really soon. So when you get the decal out, no matter what you do, when you roll a, uh, a decal with transfer paper on it, you're going to get this effect called tunneling. I don't know if you can see it here, but it's where the decal actually separated from the backing paper. That's quite normal. There's no way you can roll something up that's three layers of the same material and not get that. So I'll safely remove this tape here and we'll let this thing sit and flatten out. So you can see we have a little tunneling, but that's not gonna affect the installation of the decal. We're still gonna be able to work this very easily onto the vehicle. Um, the only other thing I'm gonna do before we start putting it on the vehicle is I'm gonna trim it. This is actually easier to do with scissors than it is with a knife. Uh, and I'm just gonna trim around the edges. This is gonna let me place it right on the sunroof and really line things up. We don't do this beforehand because we have, now we have all this extra transfer paper in case any fuzz or anything does get underneath it. Chances of it getting all the way to the decal are slim. So now, we just pick it up here. And go ahead and cut out the decal. You can see I'm getting pretty close, like a sixteenth of an inch to the edges. And heck, it's a distressed flag. If you accidentally chop into the flag, I guess it really doesn't matter too much. go. Now the decal is going to be very easy to lay on the sunroof and get the lines just right. Just take that extra, set it to the side, throw it away. Now we'll go ahead and open the install packet just to make sure we have everything ready. So you know inside here, just like all Lux kits, you're going to find a prep spray. That's a cleaner spray. It's alcohol and water. If you run out, there's a little measuring device on the side. You can pour more. The mini squeegee, microfiber, and Lux decal. And then this bottle here is going to be the wet application fluid if you choose to do it wet apply. I think it's a little easier, especially if it's just one person because of how large the decal is. You can totally dry hinge apply this. And if you look YouTube up, dry hinge is a very common technique. It's very easy to find. But with, the, uh, with this, it's just a little easier to make sure there's not one crease or bubble in the entire installation and that it's absolutely perfect. So now we're just gonna wait on the scat pack to get here and we'll install. All right, everyone, we're going to install the Scat Pack B decal on the sunroof of this car. Uh, we already scraped it with the razor blades or little sap dots on it. Our cleaner's not aggressive enough to get those off if you have that. Just make sure that it feels nice and smooth before you start applying the decal. We'll go ahead and use our prep spray just to get everything nice and wet. So I can clean it off one last time. So you can really use this bottom line on the flag to line it up. Right. There we go. Pretty happy with that placement. Nice and centered. Lines will be straight and you'll need a little bit of painter's tape. So I'm gonna put a center hinge on this right here. It's gonna help keep it in place and let us apply half the decal at a time. Make it a little easier. So from here, what we're gonna do, I take a squeegee one more time. Just make sure that the backing paper 
has the decal on it so that it doesn't fall off. Let's lock that down and pull Might need to help it start some of these. Constantly watching the design to make sure that nothing accidentally sticks. Now that we've got that folded over, I'm gonna take a knife. Scissors work really well too for this. Go ahead and cut the back of the paper off to get it out of the way. So now that we've done that, just make sure there's nothing on the hood here and take the application fluid. And now we're going to be really liberal here. We want this to be nice and wet. Glass has a really high surface tension, so as soon as that decal touches it, it's really going to want to stay narrow. This ensures that we have no creases, bubbles, or anything. So we're going to miss over the decal here. Place it down. So you can see it kind of start to settle on the car. I'm going to start right here where the hinge is laid. See a little bit of a crease there. So this is where the wet apply is great. Lift the decal off the vehicle. I'm working my way from that center towards the outside of the car and overlapping strokes. Just watching the, the vinyl to make sure there are no creases, looking at the fingers and working them out in the way that I see they need to be pulled. So now it's just a game of getting all the liquid out from underneath the vinyl. So using firm pressure, I'm just gonna keep doing this Take the microfiber, wipe up all the extra moisture around the edges. And this side of the decal, now applied. So I'm going to go to the other side of the car. First, I'll go ahead and remove the change. We won't need it anymore. Roll the backing paper. If you do that, there's a very little chance the decal is going to stick to it. All right. Same thing here. All right, so the majority of the work is done. Um, I'm just gonna keep putting pressure down, get as much of this liquid out as we can. And it's such a complex design. Sometimes when I see moisture coming up out the side, I'll just use the, my hand as a microfiber. That way when the liquid comes out, it immediately gets absorbed into this. Makes it easier. So now the decal is pretty much applied to the roof. 
we just need to get the transfer paper off. And since you use the paper instead of the clear, we do that so that you can then soak the paper in the application fluid. So I'm going to soak this paper. It's going to soften the paper, soften the adhesive. Should lift off the decal a lot easier. If you didn't get the wet application fluid, uh, you can always do this with water if you're having trouble getting the paper off of the decal. Uh, if you did it dry, chances are the decal is going to stick to the glass really, really well and you're not going to have any issues at all. As you can see, the paper is softening up, it's turning color. So I can try now, start removing this. See, same thing with the backing paper, I'm always pulling at a really sharp angle. That way, if any of the decal decides to kind of pop up, it's not gonna, it's likely not gonna fold over with the backing paper, but you're gonna see it and be able to address it. Doesn't look like we're gonna have any issues with this. So you can tell I'm not really, I'm not moving my microfiber left to right or brushing across this yet. Because I'm going to check and make sure it's totally applied. I'm just dabbing. I way doesn't catch anything. There's still some liquid underneath this decal. That's no problem. Can work all that out now. What we don't get out, the sun, I promise you will. So you can easily see if there's any liquids remaining under the decal that you need to uh, get out. You can see I'm starting to actually wipe now because I can see that all this has nothing underneath it. It's nice and applied. But you can see if there's any extra, just use your finger, work it out. You can even put the microfiber around your finger. That way it just absorbs it as soon as it gets out from underneath the, the vinyl. That is a complete application of this decal. We're now done. I would not wash this car until it sat out in the sun for at least 24 hours or, or you know, uh, taking it in a tunnel wash. Of course, those are always dangerous for decals. Uh, you don't want those little brushes coming by and ripping it off the car. However, the fitment is perfect. You have like a 16th of an inch gap right here, and this bottom line is just touching where the glass ends. So it couldn't fit any better. It's a full fitment decal. It's not going to be small. Um, from inside the car, from inside the car, you can see from the top stripe to the bottom stripe, so the whole B is visible. Uh, can't wait to see the shadow this thing puts out. Awesome. Well, that's it. Start to finish. That's how you lay down our sunroof decal. And uh, thanks for watching.